What would a win have done for rugby in Portugal? Well, it's a team who, uh, they, they have needs, but most importantly, it's about winning for them. It's an opportunity to sneak one over, over a, a Fijian team that has stuttered a little, that has played a little bit indifferently. Coach Patrice Lotus has toyed with his lineup, two changes in the backs and three in the forwards. The veteran 38-year-old 30, Francisco Fernandes returns in the front row. Mike Tajan plays his last game of test in rugby. Two meters 07, Stevie Takira is the other change in the pack. He comes into the team and will lock down with Jose Madeira. Rafael Simush came on after 40 minutes in the last time out and didn't have to earn a start tonight. Combining in that list for a chair with David Wallace and the highly impressive Nicholas Martin. Samuel Marques and the 22-year-old Geronimo Portello continue to impress in the halfbacks. And tonight will once again be an opportunity for these two players to make the right calls and execute accurate changes in the midfield. Pedro Bettencourt has excelled at 13, but a huge change at 12. That goes the captain, Thomas Appleton, onto the bench. The bench and in comes 57 cap experienced Jose Lima, who also captains the side. Another big change at fullback, Manuel Cordoza Pinto coming into the side at the expense of Nuno Guedes, who broke his arm last time out. Storti and Mata have been outstanding so far. Two changes on the bench as well as both Anthony Alves and Vincent Pinto come into the lineup. They have the opportunity to go deeper at a Rugby World Cup than ever before. And I would guess they are thinking tonight is the opportunity to pull that momentum into the quarters and possibly a semi-final. Simon Warui too has tinkered with his starting 15. Some changes necessary, but some pretty much testing. Four changes in a new backline, two in the pack, none in the front row. It's a successful front row, 100%. Jeroni Maui, the outstanding Matavesi and Tangi continue. Timu Mayana Vanua joins Isoa and Nasia Sila in the second row. Both athletic and both really good with ball in hand. The other change up front sees Meli Dera Nalangi into the blind side flanker position, joining the contesting, hard working beast Lavani Botia and number eight, Pulamia Mata. A whole new halfback pairing too as Frank Lamani returns to nine. And Pulamani Botutu. Botitu starts at 10 for only the second time in his test career. Somewhat of a risk or maybe a great reward. Joshua Tuasova has been outstanding and Waisia and Nayat Lafula bring power and guile, a wonderful partnership in the midfield. And out wide, Benaya Hambasi gets a start on the left, Celestino Ravutai Manda on the right. An Olympic gold medalist, Sorelli Makala comes in at fullback, Semi Randra rested with a slight hamstring strain. As I said, the wish for this team tonight, I would think, is about accuracy, it's about building confidence, it's about building momentum for the full squad of 23 as they approach potentially the knockout stages. Portugal get us underway and it's into the hands of the scrum half Frank Lamani. That good right boot of his and he sends it down towards the 10 metre line. And now they get a chance to attack in midfield. A little pick and go up the middle. And now Lamani can clear away. Conceding the Not penalty, you. Portugal. Offside first. Frank Lomani looking to get Fiji on the board. Over it goes, and first points go Fiji's way. Three points to nil. Running into traffic in midfield. Fiji having to scramble, though. It's slow ball for Portugal. They've got a penalty, however. Fiji slowing that ball down. Matheda again. Advantage, Portugal. And another advantage. Samuel March. Where's this matchup as we head towards half time? A penalty apiece, three points apiece between Portugal and Fiji. Set. Marx tries to get this in and out pretty quickly. Again, those front rows have popped out, and we will go to half time. Well, it's been a frantic, attritional 40 minutes, and at the moment, it is a staggering three points apiece between Portugal and Fiji. Villamoni Botitu gets us underway in the second spell. It's nicely brought down by Portugal and Stevie Cicada. 
But also Pinto in a shape to kick as well, sending it high into the sky. Chaser coming forward as Botello for Portugal, soaring, bringing it down beautifully, the fly half. Now they roll forward. Betancourt stabbing a little kick into open space for Storti to chase around the corner and score right in it. It's a breakout drive for Portugal, a little bit of magic. The little kick was a real good one as well. Hopped up nicely. What about that take from Geronimo Portello? Brilliant a little indecision amongst the Fijian backs. Botel got up there. Here comes the little okay. grubber in again. In behind, slow to turn as Ambossi. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. Oh, for sensational finish. Look at this, the gather. Is under pressure, the score. Absolutely brilliant. Wow, what a moment. Angled inside, under pressure, stretch and score. Samuel Makish. To convert the try, and he does so. Into the corner, absolutely sublime. It's not just the passing, but it's also the kicking game. Here goes Rodrigo Mata again. He's taken down the restart. Fiji at sixes and sevens, ducking under the tackle. Mata, he's got Martinez with him. It's another massive breakout for Portugal. Oh, they've got advantage too, has Fiji. Advantage. Just short of the line again. Still under try. Great feet from Storti. Boy, he has been a handful tonight. The pass, everything excellent. Martin's ball in hand. And then this man just came back. Nine. Thought he was going to go the distance. Nine. It was a real Sorry, good chase down. Some real pace to catch him. Thank you. Portugal pouring numbers into that defence. Eight or nine defenders got back there so quickly, but no, just too good. strong Thanks, right man. in the dying seconds. Over the line. Frank Lomani to convert the try, and we're back to even. Stevens all square in to lose. It's 10 apiece. Portugal, though. Just see the eyes light up and the space they can create with the footwork. The likes of Mata always been... Hit around the head here, around the throat, and it looked very uncomfortable. Upright, head contact, head on neck contact, direct. So we do have foul play, fellas. Correct. So we do have foul play, and to me, that definitely reaches the yellow card threshold. All agreed. Thanks. Number seven, wait. Portugal, Tadja, Mike Tadja towards the line. Just held up. Fiji desperate defence. But Portugal sensing another chance. Fernandes has it. And he's over. The big prop forward. The 38-year-old from Zish Fernandes gets a second try for Portugal. Samuel Mark adds another two points. They stretch their lead to a converted try. Great ball for yeah. Narsila Silla. Fiji have been really good and they've got all the forward momentum this time. Portugal's defence has been wonderful on their goal line now and they just get a little second shunt in as Ikinaviri tries to come away with it. Ball goes to ground. Allows Portugal to reorganise. All the new forwards onto the field, the front rowers. Ikinaviri, Tavita Ikinaviri. Close to the line, Buti, Buti is there. Another oh, advantage for Fiji. Thank you. Well, spread again. They're going to keep this in really short. tidy. Canaveri just short of the line. And there again, this time diving. They're jumping and they're over. So Lamani to try to tie this back up again. And makes no mistake. So for the third time in this match, we are even 17 all between Fiji and Portugal.
great take. Toy Sui. It's Hambosi, who's been 12. really good for Fiji, the left winger. Advantage playing Fiji. under advantage here. Nice flat hard ball. He's Masi. He's looked for work early. Ripped away. Not good. The back we come offside. Lomani does add three and Fiji nudge in front and nudge towards the quarter final. 20 points to 17. Just a little more fluidity this time for Fiji. Oh, and difficult to come out of there. Slap him out of the way and they get the penalty. It stays straight and true and over it goes. They go out to a six point advantage. They need a converted try now to win it. Fiji's defence aiming up. Little flick on. That's Hako release! Eventually, on his knees. David Valish goes to ground and now some space for Stormy diving down the right. Tries to step his way. He's quick, steps inside beautifully. The little offload just in case. And Marta goes in. Is history in the making? We checked. We have no problem. Brilliant line. The left wing over from the, the other side. They had a kick to win it against Georgia. They've got a kick to possibly win it against Fiji. Samuel Makish just strikes it superb. He's put Portugal in front with a minute to play. 30 seconds away Portugal. from their first ever win at a Rugby World Cup. Well, Fiji trying to pile in here. It's a real wrestle for the ball, but the clock ticks. They're trying to absorb it.